Hey guys, it's Ben the Coin Geek, and uh, today I want to share a very important, very timely topic with you. Guess what? The country is running out of coins, and uh, this is the most fascinating article I've seen. Uh, I'd like to thank my friend who sent it to me on Facebook. I always like it when my friends who don't collect coins send stuff to me, and it's fascinating. Uh, I actually was uh, at Lowe's the other day, and they had the sign posted right there that there is a national coin shortage. Please use exact change. So this is fascinating on so many levels, and uh, I'm going to have you bear with me. The article I'm going to use is the NPR article uh, because there's a lot of articles, and they really didn't say anything. They said, hey, there's a national coin shortage, and it's a shortage of coins nationally, and it's COVID, and that's it. So uh, I wanted to lo know a little bit more about the nuts and bolts of it, like well, why is there a coin shortage? What happened? And my first gut reaction was, well, because – it's like everything else we had a shortage on, which was, uh, you know, just a distribution problem, right? The same reason we were having shortages on lots of things, but there's also a production problem. So a lot of things that we've had shortages on, uh, not only was there a change in the demand curve and, uh, you know, the way it's getting supplied, but also uh, we had production amounts drop. So, <laughs> So to the NPR article, just as supplies of toilet paper are finally getting back to normal, the coronavirus has triggered yet another shortage of something we typically take for granted, pocket change. Banks around the U.S. are running low on nickels, dimes, quarters, and even pennies. And the Federal Reserve, which supplies banks, has been forced to ration scarce supplies. So this is the first question that it raises uh, to me is, well, what do you mean it's been forced to ration scarce supplies? You know, why? What? So the article goes on to explain that, well, the mint stopped printing more, minting coins for a while. Um, this whole thing is fascinating to me because uh, I didn't realize that we, that our commerce relied so much on freshly minted coins to really get, you know, the economy running smoothly. So the banks, uh, they've been forced to, to ration uh, scarce supplies. It was just a surprise, said Gay Dempsey, who runs the Bank of Lincoln County in Tennessee when she learned of the rationing order. Nobody was expecting it. Dempsey's bank typically dispenses 400 to 500 rolls of pennies each week. Under the rationing order, her allotment was cut down to just 100 rolls with similar cutbacks in nickels, dimes, and quarters. So I think one of the things that it uh, it doesn't really tell you here is that I think most of the banks, they really rely a lot on uh, some type of distribution from the Federal Reserve System and from the U.S. Mint, instead of recycling coins uh, from companies like Coinstar or coins that they get in the front counter. Now, getting coins in the front counter is probably one of the ways they're really missing out because, uh, you know, people who would normally bring coins in uh, from pocket change and do whatever with them, that's completely cut out. I know lots of banks who are not taking any new, uh, any walk in business at all. Uh, some of them are by appointment only. Uh, it, so it's it's fascinating because a lot of small businesses get their change from the bank. And I take this for granted because I see a lot of coins. <laughs> so I don't seem to have the same problem with coins that uh, that a lot of these businesses do. So because occasionally people bring in coin collections, they'll actually have buckets of change, right? So I usually, as a courtesy, if they're selling me something, I'll buy the change also. Uh, so let's see here. Uh, you think about all the grocery stores and convenience stores and a lot of people that still operate with cash, Dempsey said, they have to have that just to make change. Rural banks in uh, particular seem to be getting short changed, according to Colin Barrett, CEO of the Tennessee Bankers Association. Representative John R. Rose of Tennessee sounded the alarm last week during a hearing before the House Financial Services Committee. My fear is that customers who use these banks will react very poorly. <laughs> There's no civil unrest in our country. Uh, Rose said, and I know that uh, we all don't want to wake up to headlines in the near future, such as banks out of money. So this one fascinated me because apparently he realizes that the news media likes clickbait articles, right? So, you know, having a shortage of change and which is, I think, clearly temporary uh, and the banks out of money are two totally different things. Uh, you know, I, I, I'm sorry, it's just kind of funny to me. The congressman 
warn that if businesses are unable to make exact change, they'll be forced to round up or round down in a time when pennies are the difference between profitability and loss. So this is really funny to me also because uh, fair enough, you know, people bemoan gas prices and stuff, but their profit margin is lots of times like three cents a gallon, right? So it is literally pennies. Uh, and I know as someone who works on small margins uh, that, yeah, you know, there's there's some truth in that. But really, really, you're talking about someone. This is why we still have the penny, right? Like we can't get rid of the penny because uh, all of a sudden uh, someone's going to have to round up or down to the nearest nickel. So I, I'm fascinated just by that comment. I mean, th this whole topic gets into something a lot more interesting, which is whether or not we need change at all, which is a topic I've touched on before, uh, whether coins are going to be obsolete in five or 10 years. According to this, no way. There is no way that we're going to not use coins in five or 10 years. Uh, you know, so much for me getting my chip put into my wrist or whatever, and I just scan when I walk by. Uh, <laughs> Not that I was looking forward to that. You can play the Hunger Games music in here somewhere. So uh, we're working with the Mint to increase supply, and we're working with the Reserve Banks to get that supply where it needs to be, Powell said. So we think it's a temporary situation. I'm um, sure it is. Um, the U.S. Mint produced fewer coins than usual this spring in an effort to protect employees from infection. But the larger problem, as with many other pandemic shortages, is distribution. During the lockdown, many bank lobbies where people can recycle coins were off limits and coin sorting kiosks in retail stores saw reduced traffic with many businesses closed unused coins piled up in the darkened cash drawers in pant pockets on nightstands even as banks went begging so the interesting thing about this is right the banks are the ones who through normal distribution are short uh I, i'm sure that a lot of people have accumulated change on their nightstands and just haven't gone to turn it back in uh, some of this is the banks not opening up to the public uh, for deposits, but but a lot of this is apparently they rely so heavily on the Federal Reserve sending them change that uh, when the Federal Reserve was not their source, they really had a problem. The Fed chairman stressed that this clog in the financial plumbing should clear quickly now that the businesses are reopening and the supply of coins should soon be back to normal. Coinstar, which operates 17,000 coin sorting kiosks around the country, says people have started cashing in more change as stay-at-home orders are lifted. We've been making more frequent coin pickups to help get coins back into circulation, said Coinstar CEO Jim Garrity. Jim, congratulations. You got a whiz-bang business. I'm happy for you. In the meantime, Dempsey, the banker, has secured an emergency stash of coins from some of her business customers who run vending machines and laundromats. The market trying to correct itself there, uh, the small bank trying to get coins from its customers. Uh, while a growing number of people rely on credit cards or smartphone apps for many transactions today, the coin crunch is a reminder that sometimes you just need change. Cash is still king, I guess, Dempsey mused. I guess. That's so funny. So, you know, during the 1870s, there were there were coin shortages, which helped create um, the, the small currency that we used, the fractional currency that was five cent, 10 cent pieces of paper that people would use. This is nothing like that. This, I believe, will be short lived. But it's really interesting to me that you have so many people who are really relying on on pocket change. And this is a great revelation to me because I really thought that pocket change was just not going to be around much longer. Uh, but it really appears that it will be around much longer. So cash is king. Congratulations, coin community. We're needed. Of course, we're needed for coins that are circulated, which is not what everybody wants, you know, not necessarily what we collect. But having said that, uh, it's really pretty fascinating. Thanks for watching. I'm Ben the Coin Geek. Leave your comments down below and subscribe on the button up here and watch more videos on the right side of the screen. Thanks so much.